the three days Jonah was in the belly of the fish, for three days he was dead. It is a constant teaching of the fathers of the church. In Magnifica, there is also a write-up by Kodulth Devus, Saint Kodulth Devus. He also mentions that. So, how do we arrive at that conclusion? Jonah was dead for three days. So we arrive at there from this prayer Jonah makes, chapter 2, verse 2. I called to the Lord out of my distress, and he answered me, Out of the belly of Sheol I cried, and thou didst hear my voice. Sheol, in later Judaism, was a place where the source of the dead go. But in former Judaism, the concept was different. Also, the Christian concept is different. But at the time the book of Jonah was being written down, Sheol was the place of the dead. So it is from the place of the dead that Jonah prayed. So what the fish vomited on the shore was his dead body. How we arrive at that? This is what God said. Chapter 3, verse 2. Okay, before that, verse 1. Then the word of the Lord came to Jonah the second time, saying, Arise. This arise is the same Aramaic word that Jesus used when he raised up the daughter of Jairus. Talitha Kumi, little girl, rise up. That's what Jesus said. So he was, Jonah was dead for three days and then he was raised to life. So Jonah becomes a figure of Christ. We know what happens to Christ. And Jesus would say today, when Jonah preached, the Ninevites, though they were non-Jews, they repented. And here, there is someone greater than Jonah. So at the preaching of Jesus, many did not dare to listen to him. The preaching of Jesus is being continued today through the church. And when we listen to, give, uh, listen to Jesus preaching, how do we respond? Let us repent and produce fruits of repentance. Not enough to say, I repent. If we truly repent, let us change. Let us pray for that grace today. Please stand.